Okay, here we are again. Uh, pretty much the objective of the day is to have a normal fishing day. I was out here yesterday, I got skunked. Oh well, it was kind of a horrible day, but whatever. Um, so have, trying to have a normal fishing day because every time I come out here, there's just different results. Epic things are happening or, or just uh, calamity in general. And, and uh, I don't really have too much time. I, don't, I can't put too much effort into the fishing today, but uh, hopefully a miracle happens. I've got everything set up. We're just pick, picking up where we left off here in the same spot, just trying to catch some uh, surf perch. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're trying, well, first of all, we're still doing the Rye Man Keeper Challenge. I'm still trying to fill my fridge uh, with fish based on uh, the limitations uh, and challenges that I've, I've objectives I've put forward uh, for myself. Um, and we are trying to see right now, starting right now, which bait the surf perch strike on first. Okay, so right now I already have shrimp out there on a Carolina rig. I just threw it out, got my net waiting. We've got a bell. Uh, who knows what's gonna happen? We got an outgoing tide. Okay, okay, so shrimp, we're starting with shrimp, but we also have, we have more shrimp here. We have a collection of sand crabs, and then we're just gonna go down the line. If, if after a few casts, if it ain't working, we're gonna go on to a new package of gulp camo sandworms. We have a new package of the sandworm bloody, uh, the shorter ones, the two inch ones, those six inch ones, man, those things are kind of a joke. So I got these, I don't know, I haven't been very successful on um, bloody, but I have caught on them. We have some uh, Mr. Twister pumpkin pepper. We still got some of those left. And we have uh, these uh, pearly uh, white uh, Mr. Twisters, probably gonna throw those on before, uh, the uh, pumpkin pepper and then we still have when all else fails we're going to go back to basics the crappy max motor oil red there's even a, a, a collins grub in here too so we have that as our lineup we're going to see who they bite off first all right this thing's been out there for a couple seconds let's see if anything's going on right off the bat just have a nice small piece of shrimp I'm trying to start off real basic i missed my shrimp man i couldn't afford to buy any and i had a little extra a couple extra bucks went and picked myself up some of that frozen shrimp because i'm coming out here getting skunked uh and then i know that there's been days where i throw everything out and the only thing that works is shrimp sometimes that's just what they want um there was a day i didn't have shrimp and there was a fisherman out here catching uh, some unique species uh, killing it on the shrimp and I didn't have any that day so I've missed it I want to see if it produces anything five or six casts and we're just gonna keep uh, switching it up and if I'm not getting any bites whatsoever uh, we'll move and repeat the same thing we're gonna throw it out there again now I don't know uh, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with the striped bass today I kind of want to just focus on the perch, uh, just like I did before. I was successful on the striped bass, uh, well, uh, but after uh, focusing uh, my efforts on, on the surf perch. So I feel that's a good strategy. I'm going to stick with it. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know if anything happens on uh, any of these baits. Uh, we're not going to go through every single one of them. If uh, whatever, whatever they strike first, I'll let you know. All right, stay tuned. So uh, nothing on the shrimp, nothing on the sand, please. Uh, I gave the camo sandworm a good go, probably longer than I should have for one sandworm. So now I have the Mr. Twister on there, uh, the white one, the uh, pearly one. I've never tried it before. It was the very first cast on it. Uh, yesterday I, I got skunked, but I, I had one good uh, fish fight on and off with a, with a surf perch. And that was on a Mr. Twister uh, pumpkin pepper. And this one is the pearly looking one, the white one. He's almost translucent a little bit. Um, the sun's starting to peek over. I thought maybe I'd just give it a go. See what's going on. Mr. Twister seems to have some good success. Even on days when I'm not catching anything, seems to catch, seems to get something.
I think we got it back. All right, I'll let you know if this Mr. Twister works out. Okay, we got the pearly white Mr. Twister. Hang on a second. Oh, shucks. I might have messed up. Hang on. Heavy. Very heavy. Whoa, whoa, pulling, pulling, pulling. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, whoa, whoa, oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, they got off. Oh, he pulled the, he pulled the hook off. Oh man, oh. That's the second time in two days. Uh, it's the only fish action I've gotten. Uh, I tried to take my time. I, I think I messed up. I, I probably should have tried not to use the net. Oh man, that's that's hard. That's hard. All right, we'll we'll try again. Man, uh, um, yeah, the whole uh, not getting any bites and then all of a sudden getting a fish on and off. That's real. That's one of the worst things about coming out fishing. <laughs> it's because because that could be the last action I see all day. It could be the last action I see all weekend. Um, yesterday had the same thing. The only action I had was a fish on and off. I didn't lose the hook on that one. It was on a Mr. Twister. Um, and so I've switched back to the original Mr. Twister now uh, because I get all motivated. I get all motivated uh, after getting the fish on and off thinking, okay, they're biting now. and. Then I don't get another hit at all. So I didn't get any more hits off the uh, pearly white one. Now I've got the uh, pumpkin pepper. Uh, we got a nice, uh, um, we got a nice distribution of sunlight coming through the clouds. It's kind of cool. It's just shining delicately on everything. Looking at it through my polar lenses, looks pretty cool. Um, that bite earlier, I assume it was a very strong surf perch. But man, that thing was pulling me back and snapped the hook off as if it might have been like a small striped bass. Very possible uh, small striped bass trying to hit that Miri tail, pearly white Mr. Twister. Very possible. In fact, I'm pretty convinced uh, a couple months back, I was out here on the right side of this beach. I was throwing it out, uh, Mr. Twister. I was throwing him out. And uh, I got a, a fish fight that was unlike anything I had experienced at the time. And now I'm pretty convinced that uh, what it was, was it was a striped bass going for the Mr. Twister. So I'm pretty convinced, about 95% sure uh, that striped bass will in fact hit the Mr. Twister, the white one and this regular one, this uh, pumpkin pepper. I'm sure that they'll hit off of them. They just have to be in the right moment. All right, We've got something going on here. It's strong. Whatever it is, it's very strong. Trying to bring them in. The bank's way out there. Way out there, way out there. Way out there. Just try to keep fighting. It's it's very strong. I don't know if it's a striped bass or what. It's right here, right here, right here. Come on, come on, wave. Come on, come on, wave, help me out. Yes, 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 help me out, help me out. Yeah, oh, striped bass, striped bass, yeah. Striped bass. Come on, striped bass. Come on up here, let's examine you. Hang on, hang on guys, we got this. Woo, straight back. All right, uh, let me get this uh, puppy in the pole holder. Oh my gosh, that kills it, wow. Got the tape measure ready to go. Um, definitely not a keeper, I'm gonna say. Just real quick, let's do this real quick. Let's see, we're still, yeah, we're recording. Okay. All right, there's the zero. Close your mouth. 
Yeah, only um, only 15 to the fork of the tail. Let's get him out. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, guy. Hang on, guy. I'll get you. Don't worry. I'll get you. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you. Right now. You guys see this? On the Mr. Twister, I was just saying that. So that pretty much makes the video right there. Look at that. These striped bass. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rocks falling from the cliff behind me. All right, let's get this guy back. Not a keeper. He's hefty, though. He's he's real cool. Hang on. See if I can... Oh. Get him cleaned up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, guy. I know. We'll get you. Oh, he's very strong. Very strong. I can't I can't hold him. Got Oh, gotta let him go. Bye. There he goes. Oh yeah, making his way back in there. Real strong and healthy. Wow. Amazing these striped bass. So now uh, trying to catch surf perch. I'm able to catch uh, schoolies. I'm able to catch small striped bass. That's cool. Uh, I dig that, especially after being skunked yesterday and having a heck of a time guys so this is uh this is all good in my book i don't really care if i catch another fish but we're gonna keep going and uh yeah if i don't if i don't catch another fish you know um thanks for watching <laughs> other than that we'll end it on whatever i do catch